here's a fighter that a lot of people have been talking about here during fight week, really just because of the nature of his skill set. I haven't seen much in terms of a glaring weakness on film. Your thoughts? It, it doesn't seem like there is one. You know, when you're watching the film and you're critiquing him, there's not much to critique. When you're trying to break down where the weaknesses are, there aren't many. The guy can wrestle, he can grapple, he's got tremendous cardio, great top control, insane durability. He's got it all. He's one of the best mixed martial artists we have seen come on the scene for a long time. But he's got to continue to prove it if he wants to stay where he is right now in the UFC. And perhaps his greatest asset, at least thus far, has been his instinctual nature in the octagon, right? Just knowing which skill to employ at the right time. And certainly, he's got essentially every skill you would want in an MMA arsenal. Statement as he won the fight the way that he did. John Jones once again building on such a strong legacy. You guys relish fight night as much as John Jones. You see him grinning ear to ear as soon as he hits the tunnel. We'll see how it goes in title defense number one. No surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones' call of card. Push kick there to the body. Rips the body there. Boom, straight left hand. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. Jones is now switching his stance. Oh, a huge block there. fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight. And you have to have it, because the target's always... Oh, I'm not 
sure how he stayed up right. I mean, when you can hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Oh, big head kick there. Huge kick lands again. He has to evade Stan's face. Oh, a huge kick to the leg. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Nice execution on the team. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. That guillotine is tight. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Aspinall's pass is denied. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Now he's going full mount. Making all these shots count. Oh, now he's gonna find himself oh, a little more danger. Second round, straight ahead. And there is the horn. Big five minutes Great for him there. Great round from John Jones. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Aspinall. Nice kick. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. Big knee there. Look at him top. by the defensive fighter. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. And now he's got the back. Great job not only reversing the position, but getting to your dominant position. Well, not a guy you want on top of you. Ground and pound strikes piling up here. Good work by Aston. He passes to half guard. There it is. Now he's going to bottom. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Get, look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side. He's got it, he's got it. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. 
All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Jones. Right. And the horn sounds on round two. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready? You ready? Third Go. round underway. Straight right is there. Oh, nice straight there by Jones. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's going anti. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a Von Flew. He's got the side mount. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Jones is in half goal. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? How about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. He's got to start to get to the get up process. Because everybody talks like you just get up, you don't. It's a process, right? You get to the underhook, you build to the elbow, then you start to gain height to get back to your feet. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Good work from the top here by Jones. Another strike gets through from the top position. Now he's got a good body position, yo. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. There. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there, but Fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, he's looking at guillotine. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. He's really working hard for this guillotine, but he can't blow out his arms. He's got to make sure it's clear. How in the world did he escape that submission? Aspinall's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, good defense, yes. Fifteen seconds. Get the ball here. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Right. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. Hey, stop. Get your act together now. I know you're better than this, okay? We're not going to let this guy outwork us. You're going to go out this round, and you're going to outwork him. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his approach in Ready, that ground and pound sequence. Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Nasty high kick. How is he still standing? Oh, that one landed, yep. Whiffs on the elbow. Oh, he landed a beautiful... Guillotine jump! The guillotine looks 
like it's locked in. Right now, he's got to be patient. Oh, great submission defense. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Aspinall's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, he's got that submission tight now. Bale's on the submission now. Aspinall's got the full mount. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Under the neck. Oh, and now he flattens him out, DC. A couple hooks in. This could be trouble. Look at all that hip pressure he has into his opponent's back. Now he'll start to rain down brutal ground and pound. And you better intelligently defend here. This could be the beginning of the end. Uh, watch the, the arm bar going up. What a tight arm bar. And very tight, but as it started to slip, he went right back to the dominant position. Work. Come on, stand you up. Let's work. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, right into Mo. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has a break. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass. Oh, looks tight to me. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. And busy as he looks to improve position here. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, throw posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position stop, stop, stop. in half guard. All right, so for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter, and he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning and brutal, nasty ground and pound. Fifth and final round. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Good shots, good shots, keep it up. Lands a nice leg kick. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Oh. Back and forth we go. Well, we talk about these calf kicks all the time. Don't want to take too many more of those. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, that looks tight to me. It's locked in. He's off. What's the mission defense on this play? Great job being busy off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. And now, I think he's looking for a submission. He's going to start to chase the arm triangle. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. He needs to work out his position. Oh, he can choke and he somehow gets up. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're going to get submitted. He didn't panic. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Aspinall's right back to the full mount. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Working for the submission once again. He's fighting, he wants this very bad. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. 
You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Mm, nice. Let's go, bro. Stay busy on the ground for me. Stay busy. Right into side control. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this. Yes, they have to be mature about the... Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. Moving here. And there is the final horn. What a 25-minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by majority decision, Thomas Benoit! All right, so there he is, your winner by majority decision. So we don't see that every day, but two of the three judges who...